Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho You're not like the others, no No changing behaviors Not sure how to act around you So colorful and bright Hello, hello, guys! Welcome back to another interesting banger <laughs> Another interesting video from the Black Beauty TV Daughter of the Sawyer and the CEO of my carbon, the CEO of the carbon of the lazy members. Anyway, guys, it is what it is. We are back again, as I said. And as we always say, who made it to the table? We are going to do sharp sharp because even me, I don't have time to waste. I'm going for afternoon work. And when I come back, we are going to premiere this video. It is what it is. So let's go into the banger without wasting much of our time and as we always say who made it to the carbon <laughs> guys the man was made it big time to our carbon as usual i will not see things and i will look back and say oh i will never be i will never be tired of talking about them as long as they keep messing up and using people to become in this our 21st century <laughs> They use slavery and I will show them bamba to bamba. I will always disgrace them for the whole world to see in these days what is happening in Africa. I'm going to talk about them with these horses they go and carry. Even animals are suffering in that kingdom. But before we go into the marwa, there is something I really want to address it. You know, I don't like talking too much, but we need to address things sometimes so that we just move ahead ahead. If you remember, guys, I made a video eh, day before yesterday, or when did I make that video, about the women, the American women killed in the Gambia. Guys, I made video. This is a reaction channel. If you don't like it, if you come here every day to a thing you are coming here to enjoy, that I'm talking about Marwa, get ready that if something happens also in your country, I'm going to talk about it. I told you that even if it is in my household, I will talk about it. If it happens in my household in Nigeria, I will talk about it. I made that video clear. If you have not watched that video, guys, please kindly go and watch that video to know how people can be so stupid and foolish in this world. I first put a small video, a small clip to describe. I didn't say that is a Gambia. I described the juju in Africa that if Africans have these powers, to do these things. Why don't they use these powers? You know, I don't need to address it, but I see that Gambians, not all, because some of them, they really kept a very good comment for me because I'm even going to read those comments. So they misunderstood the, 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 the Coco. Immediately they saw that video. Oh, it's not in the Gambia. Oh, it's not in the Gambia. The truth is that these women died in the Gambia. We are not talking about who killed them. And because the media has not come out to tell us that these are the people that killed the women. You don't expect me that I should say the women that died in the Gambia should say they died in Nigeria. No, now, if they died in Nigeria, surely I will say that they died in Nigeria. And this particular person, I'm not going to call your name. You know yourself. You are watching me. It's from the Gambia. You have your channel. He came Three days ago, I think, to my life, and he was writing one jungle German that I don't even understand his German that he was really writing. And he came with a fake account. He didn't come with the account he used to come. You see how people are wicked. That's why I say sometimes not everybody say, I'm lazy gang, that real there. Some of them are not even happy for us. I mean, not all, but some people are hiding because this guy came with a, a fake account to write to me. Oh, I was wondering, I tried to like connect what kind of German saying I should talk about the Nigerian arm robbers. I should talk about Nigerian arm robbers. I should not talk about other countries. My, I told you that I don't have any tribalism. When it comes to Nigeria, I talk about Nigeria. When something bad happened in Nigeria, I talk about it. I don't spear whether because a Nigerian or I don't care. I am all over Africa. So if I'm talking about Marwa, you are coming every day here to enjoy it. The day it happens in Gambia, you want people to cover it because it's in the Gambia. It's not which country or which tribe or which, it's not all about that. It's about telling people to be careful where they go, what they do. It's not only in the Gambia. If you watch that video very well, you know that from the beginning of that video, I mentioned, I said, I live with a lot of Gambia like 10 years now. I eat in the same place. You didn't see those places. 
I have never had this experience with Gambia. This is my first time. Go back to the video and watch. That is what me, the Black Beauty TV, I said. I said I have many Gambian friends here, but I have never had this experience of killing someone with juju or something. But after this woman's video, I am scared. And the reality is that it is in the Gambia. It happens in the Gambia. If you feel that I'm robust, are uh, from Nigeria going to the Gambia, you have those evidence. Do it on your channel. You are a YouTuber. Why do you want me to do it? You don't want content? You also have to do it on your channel. You see? So he now turned the thing. He now came with his real account. When I did that Gambian video, he now came with his real account and said, oh, because I said do video. You are a thief also. Because you will not be coming with fake account to tell me I should do video about nigeria and then i never knew that this is even a gambian talking with this fake account in the first place it was somebody who dropped comment to me said black beauty please talk about the dead women in the gambia so now he feels like oh because he said she talk about nigeria i am not talking i never knew you are a one you are the one with your fake account who came to my channel to talk this nonsense i don't know I just do my reaction. And now you now came with your real face. You came with your real account to say, oh, because you asked me to do video about Nigeria, that is why I am now doing video. You are a liar. Did I know you were the one who, who put that uh, chat in my premiere with fake account? I didn't know you were the one. So how do I know? <laughs> you see how you people deceive yourself. And this guy, I kept blocking him and I will keep doing it. He came attacking people in my comment section. See? The, the worst thing you will do in, your, in my comment section is to attack my subscribers. I will surely block you because I respect my subscribers. If somebody put a comment that you don't like, you can like type constructively to the person. But when you start to attack the person, I don't allow anybody to attack anybody here. You cannot come here. He came, I delete. He came, he was coming with like 10, 20 fake accounts trying to destroy my comment section. Trying to destroy, I will, in fact, I will deal with you mercilessly. Go to your channel and do that. You have a channel. If you feel I'm robots are in Nigeria, go and do it on your channel. Because even that same day, guys, I did that video of killing and telling people what is happening in Africa. I talk about Nigeria. I say how if they don't kill you with Juju, they will kidnap you. Go and listen to the video. I didn't spare Nigeria that day. I talk as about Nigeria. He said, why is it that Gambians are taking this thing so personal? It's not about Gambia. It's not about whether you are a Gambia. It's about being careful. Africa is not what people tell people. You know, that is what we are. And let us look at, uh, let us look at this comment that this, this fake person came to say. At Black, I left this one because at least he didn't try to insult me. This is his other fake account. At Black Beauty TV, we don't do such things killing humans that's not our blood all robbers in here are not from us i don't know which country are you from i want to understand something and you are out here talking about the gambia fire burn you 10 times i'm not talking about the gambia that is wanting these illiterates they fail to understand i didn't say anything bad about the gambia i am talking about the women dying in the gambia it doesn't i don't care whether it's foreigners that come to the Gambia to do that. No, I don't talk any bad about Gambia. I brought the woman's uh, video. She was speaking about the Gambia and I reacted on it. It is not me. If you want to know why this woman is talking bad about the Gambia, then you need to go and wake her from the dead and ask her, why do you talk this bad about the Gambia? The videos are rampant about Gambia. On YouTube, there are more than thousands of videos about this thing happening in the Gambia. What? Why don't you go around to tell them? Don't say this about the. We are doing reaction. This is. I'm just reacting on what the woman was saying that she was poisoned. I'm not in the Gambia and I've not been to the Gambia, so I will not say that they poisoned me. No, the woman said they want to poison her, and it happened in the Gambia. You cannot. Denying the fact that it didn't happen in the Gambia. It happened in the Gambia. So you want me to take it and put to another country? Don't take it personal. I tell you the truth. 
Then he came back again. Everybody be talking bad. Everybody be talking bad about the Gambia. Let's wait until you guys know the killers in Gambia are not Gambians. It's not about whether Gambians or not Gambians. The truth is that have human feelings that these women are killed. And it's not one, it's not two, it's not three, it's not four, it's not five, it's not six. Many, many women. I went, these people make me to go into searching. I went to Facebook, even on Gambia's side, Gambia people's side, how the men beat the women till death. I went searching, I said, ah, how this one? You want to pretend to say that Gambia, there is no country in Africa that don't have violence, especially men against women. There is no country in Africa that doesn't have juju. Even if you go to my uh, comment section, a lot of people, some say, oh, they came, they, the people, they are living in Senegal. And people from the Senegal, they go to the Gambia to do juju. Is it me that said it? It's not me. It's other people that said it. You see? And now we're going to look into this other woman who died in the Gambia. It's still the same Gambia. Even though they said they found the, the person who has killed this woman in the Gambia. How did this woman die in the Gambia? This one is not to say they poisoned the woman again, guys. They killed this woman physically like this and threw her inside a well in the Gambia. Where do you, you want me to say it happened somewhere? Or do you want us, because it's in the Gambia, we should hide the truth. We should hide the truth. Even if it is Nigeria, guys, I will say it. Even if it is my brother who did it, I will say it. So it's not about the Gambia. It's about American Western women be, keep, women be careful going to any country in Africa. Especially in the Gambia now, a lot of women are dying there. So nobody says it's a Gambian man that killed a woman. Nobody says it's a foreign. Nobody knows who did it till now. So let's look into this, uh, into this uh, post. Someone sent me this post on Facebook. A woman who just died in the Gambia, though they have found the person who did this to this woman. Let me read it for you guys. I hope I see it. Yeah, it's, it's on, I think you people know the woman. This Shekina Chinedu in the Gambia, you know, police arrested suspect over mother of British woman, she's even from the British, not America, Shekina Chinedu in the Gambia. The Gambian police force has arrested. In the other one, I heard they say it's Ghana police force. So you see, sometimes uh, all these things I don't really know. The Gambian police force has arrested a male suspect in connection with the mother of a British national Shekina Chinedu whose body was discovered under mysterious circumstances after being reported missing. Eh? The body was found. That was killing. They killed her. The body was found. They killed her. It is what it is. We don't need to deny the fact that she was killed. And in the Gambia, the body was found. It continues. Miss Chine do. 60 years old, was reported missing at Tuge Tuyeren police station on February 15. On February 15, very, very fresh this month, 2024. The, uh, her family last heard from her on Tuesday, February 13, around 10.30 p.m. Her corpse was found in February 16, Inside a well in an uncompleted compound in Kungujang, Mariama. According to the police, the suspect age between 20 and 30 years was arrested on Saturday, February 17, 2024. The police did not say the person is a Nigerian. The police did not say the person is a Ghanaian or is from Togo. Or is, they did not say where. Gambians are provoked online. Some, not all. Oh, don't say it's in the Gambia. The Gambia is not like that. We are not like that in the Gambia. If it is Nigeria now, all of you will carry your long, long mouth. And be saying nonsense. Do you know how many people every blessed day talk bad about Nigerians? Do you see Nigerians coming to be arguing? Every even Nigerians will join and say, Yes, the country is like that. But why do you want to hide the truth from the whole world? 
that this thing happened in the Gambia. Nobody says a Gambian man that killed. But she was killing the... I don't want to keep report, uh, repeating words. Let's continue. It's really, really sad that some people still believe, they still behave at this age like this. The suspect is currently cooperating with the police in the ongoing investigation. Yeah, the noun, the Ghana police force expressed its gratitude for the public support and collaborations in the police investigations. The police said in a statement, the disease moved to the Gambia where she has been residing since 2017. And I saw also that they killed this woman because of 80,000 dollars. That is like, according to what I heard, like, I don't know, 800, 1,000 uh, pounds. They killed this woman because of that. So, Gambians, you people should cool down. You people should cool down because we Nigerians, we have heard it on this. In fact, on social media, we have heard it banger to banger. You know? And one thing I like is that there's, there's one, one Gambian person. Two, there's one that is my... Let me see if I will see. Let me see if I will see that comment. Then we read it and then we move on to the Marwas. So I found this comment. And this is when you see people that really they are intelligent. They understand my video. I never say in my video that hey, Gambians are killing people. Oh, the way some people came to talk nonsense. And they didn't even under. They just saw, oh, a woman died in the Gambia. Oh, they are already offended. And it's true. Go around YouTube. And see how many thousands of videos are there about the... Some people even title it and say, Gambia is a no-go way. You know, Gambia can never be trusted. This, those are the comments people post. People, they, they title people post on YouTube. Go and check. And this person, this person said, he said, it's very sad that all these things happen in my lovely continent and moreover, my country, the Gambia. Without anything serious done about it, very, very sad. You see, he don't, he's not concerned that, oh, because I am a Gambian, he's not from the Gambia, he's not the Gambia. He said, it is sad that this thing happens in my own country and nothing is done about it. This is an intelligent man. This is somebody that want good for Africa. This is no tribalism, no country. The way I hear African people talk sometimes on this YouTube, I'll be asking myself, why is it that we are behaving like that? Tribalism will still kill us. Some people will even say, now, oh, she's not a Kenya. Go and talk about your country. It's, it's about Kenya. Leave Kenya and Kenya. Some people, I will hear them, even some. I'm sorry to say this, or even some reactor will hear them say, leave Africa to Africa. Oh, leave Kenya to Kenya. Fire, burn anybody that. This is tribalism. This is uneducated. This is madness. That, oh, because she's not from. This is what kills us in Africa. What I go? Oh, leave this country to this country. But at the same time, you, want, you, are, you are using YouTube that belongs to America. It's not Africa. You say, leave Africa to Africa. You are using YouTube. This is American company. And you want donors, you want subscribers from other countries. You want subscribers from another nation. If you only want leave Africa to Africa or Kenya to Kenya, be doing your video in Swahili. You know, do your video in Swahili or in the language that fits only your people. So that only your, be learning sense. If you are doing videos, you are internationally. You have to know things you said. That is why I was so careful, even with that Gambian video. I will not want to hurt anyone. You know? But people lack understanding in so many things. Bad must be bad, and bad can never be good. The women are killed, and somebody needs to talk about it. It's wrong to be killing women anyhow like that. Even women have right to travel wherever they want to travel. Is their money alone or with a man? So they can travel. Wherever they want, that does not give any vagabond eh, the power to say, oh, because she's traveling alone, let me kill her. For what? Did you pay for her, her flight to come to the Gambia or to come to any country in Africa? No. She did it herself. Let people be free to walk in, a, in the continent. Let people be free to do things like, let me enjoy the continent. Not that we go and be hiding because of what? Because we are afraid of people 
that they will kill us because they want to take what we have. Then I replied to him. I replied to him and I said, my brother, thanks so much for understanding. Some Gambians are taking this very, very personal. And he, he replied to me. He replied to me and said, wait. He said, black beauty, it should be a concern for every African. These are our own people who want to come back and enjoy with us in our modest way. But if we threaten them with death, destruction, how can they come? Very, very constructive and intelligent comment. How will I delete this kind of comment? Is somebody that understand the cocoa that is not all about the Gambia. And then um, one of our sisters sent another comment. She said, CEO, it's sad that this, things, this thing happened in the Gambia. I'm a Gambian residing in the UK. But the truth is, all these killings are stealing, and stealing is done by foreigners. I'm not saying Gambians are not involved. You see, I am not saying that Gambians are not involved. I'm not saying that Gambians are not involved. Most of these African-American people have YouTube channel and expose all what they have and do. People are watching them and they go deep into the uh the sub up where there are lots of illiterates some african americans are doing good in the gambia they own properties and businesses and they are doing well because they associate themselves with the right people it's sad that is constructively why she's not saying that the Gambians are not also involved in the business. In every country, you will see good and bad people. That is what she's saying, yes. But you don't just come and say, oh, you are wicked. You are from Nigeria. Oh, why are you talking like this about the Gambia? Nigeria is bad. I talk about every African country that come my way. It is what it is. If you don't like it, go and talk about me and Nigerians that we are thieves in your, in your channel. It doesn't bother me because... All over, even Nigerians themselves, we are talking. We are talking about what is going on in Nigeria. Everybody have big mouth to talk about Nigeria, but don't talk about, you come here to enjoy because I bash Marwa. You think I create my, my channel only to be talking about Marwa. You think there are no other people doing bad things apart from Marwa that one can talk about them. That is why I say we are always selfish. Accept your own and receive it in Jesus' name that these women were killed in the Gambia and not any other country. You can't change the narrative. It is what it is. Let's move to our uh, uh, Swamp King. I don't want to waste time. I'm going to walk. What I go? <laughs> Guys, don't take anything personal. You know? We are here to react. It's not about taking things personal. Let's enter sharp, sharp to the Swamp King. Let's go and watch the Swamp King and then we will come back. Bomba to bomba before we see how we will do other, other, other. Like the video, guys, and subscribe to the Black Beauty TV if you have not. And God will surely shower you with the blessing of the CEO of the Lazy Gang. Don't forget, I'm a pastor. Like the video, sharp, sharp. Let's go and watch. You know? So, this also is a part. And uh, so, the boys said I slaughtered them my goats today so that they can enjoy and no payment after the goat has arrived it smells so good mm. Rosie, okay. the goat is ready yes the goat is ready why, so you might... give me the hand like this? why? what could give i do a... ma'am give me a kiss oh it's or it's... like a, i'm your partner look, look ma'am i am sweating i am sweating you, I am... Uh, you, you I'm greet sweating. me like a stranger no like ma'am a visitor i am sweating ma'am okay Okay, don't or, worry. Or you okay with everything? Look guys, I'm sweating. Lucio wants a hug. <laughs> no, I want a wife greeting. <laughs> okay, 
But I'm sweating. It's okay, don't worry. I just worry. came from walking. Look, don't worry, Look don't at worry. my hands. I know, I can see your hands. I know. So I imagine we just cooked the goat, and now the boys say they want to eat the goat and they want to be paid. <laughs> I told them, if you test my goat, no payment. Yes. If you make a goat, we work for free? Yes. But because that's also very common in Africa, in the yeah. village. Yeah. We call it Egesangero. Uh -huh. You can go to somebody support, do his work. And in change for food? Yeah. Because honestly, the money that we just bought, a whole goat, we could have used to pay them. and every day <laughs> kiss me like a wife <laughs> guys have you ever seen a love that the woman have to beg the man to kiss her <laughs> i've never seen in fact it's like for me it's like children play upon all the 70 what how many countries did he say 70 or 200 or 70, 74 or 70 what all the countries he has traveled to this guy have not learned to say let me just kiss my woman if you really love somebody, guys, if you like, take it or not. You will not even know the time that you kiss the person. Not that you are going to stay on the street and start kissing the person, but at least, mwah, it's okay for her. But this one, your woman is asking you to, you have, you, have you ever seen something like this, guys? Love goes with feelings. And when the feelings and love is there, it comes automatic. You don't even need to ask for those things. It just happened. No matter how you are smelling, your partner is not even maybe feeling it because the love has overshadowed anything. But you come, oh, I'm sweating. Oh, I'm doing... That one is, there is nothing like love inside that thing. He just pretended. He just for the views and that is all. And Salvador with the chest. Oh, kiss me. And look at Marwa. Look at them. Vampires. When I call them like that, they say that I'm wicked. I don't care how many people call you. I saw all the, the soldiers of Marwa. Hey, view is not your maid. They are back on the street. <laughs> they are views. The subscribers that Marwa gave them, they were fake subscribers. The subscribers have refused to watch them. Now they are back. Even some of their even some of the, the Marwa supporters, <laughs> because they know that if you support Marwa as a reactor, your own is finished. No views, nothing, nothing for you. Now they are back to saying the truth. Some of them are now back because you say you come for one man, you are a soldier. I told you people, you are finished. You don't know what you are doing. Now look at Marwa before I divert from talking to where I'm divided. Look at the slave master that able men and women are supporting. In fact, you will leave your house. You are going to leave your house to go and work for Marwa hard labor just because you want to eat meat. Guys, have you ever heard this thing in your life? Fire burn these people in Jesus' name. And then he said that, oh, in Africa. Say that in your household, not in Africa. Because it doesn't happen. I've never seen a stupid man with children at home in Nigeria that will leave his home in the name of I'm going to look for daily bread. For my family and say, okay, don't pay me money. Kill God. Let us eat with my friends. What about your family? Is that how Kenya men behave? I don't want to say Kenya men. Is that how Yabohanze men behave? That they go to work for their own tummy. No wonder. Everywhere rampant. I said it. Everywhere rampant. Children everywhere. No father to feed them. Their fathers have run away. They are feeding their own tummy. You go to do a job. In somewhere in the side. Amarwa said the money that we are supposed to buy to pay them. How much is good? I see them buying good sometimes. 50 euros. So the 50 euros you are buying good or 50 dollars is the one you are going to pay all these men that are working for you in a day. Is it the money you want to pay them for their daily job? That is why I told you you will continue to pay in this cheap labor you are packing. You will pay till your ass. I can see it and I can feel it. That the money is not coming like before again. You are suffering it already. But you don't want to say it. And this Salvador, I have told you guys. That you see this Salvador. Wallahi, I'm telling you Salvador can never be a good wife. She can never be a good wife to hold an African home. Because a good wife will caution the husband. A good wife will direct the husband in a right way. Like Just like yesterday I saw congrats dad and Marwa. I did that video but you know sometimes we talk generally. How congrats that? Sometimes when we even see people, you know, sometimes we forget this. 
Congrats that telling Africa people that they don't have sense, they don't have the head, the brain, in front of a fake Muzungu. And then this fake Muzungu and Marwa, and Marwa, this fake Muzungu is wicked. You are not a good wife. You are not even qualified to be called wife because you don't have the quality of a wife. Because a wife, a man, they say a man that finds a good a good wife has found a good thing. In fact, Marwa, you have found catastrophe to your home. If Marwa is doing something wrong, why can't you tell Marwa, oh, Marwa, don't do it this way. With all the work Alex did in that villa, serving, Salvador, you were there looking. And when Marwa just is sacking these people, even the, the, the plumber man, what do you tell Marwa? Did you see that that is good behavior? That he used people and dumped them? The same thing, these people working for him in the house, he said that they are working for food. Guys, have you ever heard this thing? These are men with children at home, wives. What will their wives eat? What will their children eat? If their father have gone to work for him, for his tummy, the children should die. Do you know that the children have to go to school? Do you know that they have to eat, they have to buy clothes and shoes? How will you tell their fathers to work for food for you or for good? Or you are wicked now. You are very, very wicked. And your subscribers, they support you in this rubbish you do. I pity them. I pity their life. It's only God that will, in fact, he will send, he will send the Holy Spirit to blast you people. You will pay all the money you are using to cheat these people in this cheap labor. You will pay it. With your ass. It's me, daughter of the soil. I'm telling you this thing. If you think I'm lying, then continue to think I'm lying and then we will see. We will see how it will end you up. A lot of people were keeping coming. So let's read this comment before we go to the video that Salvador is collecting money. Yeah, people give her money for the, for the maintenance of the horses. So you just pack horses to keep in your compound. You don't even know how to maintain them. You see how... When you do things to please people in this world, you have not seen anything yet. He bought those horses to show people, oh, I can, I can buy horses. You want to live like a big man and you cannot maintain those animals. The person said, don't use Vaseline to get rid of the ticks. The ticks are already all over these this, uh, horses and he don't know how to take care of it. Uh, Marwa, if you, if you can afford to buy horses, then you can get... A professional veterinary doctor to sort out the ticks problem. Do you believe that Marwa bought those? Uh, he have he can afford to buy those horses. I know how much horses costed. I know how much horses they will can cost you. Horses are not cheap. Something even to maintain them is not cheap. So you people will sit down there. The the horses that Marwa go and borrow to just keep in his compound. One day you will not see those horses there. He will bring another story. Those horses are there. For just for just a while, just sometimes, you think he can afford horses, but he don't know that those horses they need they are like human beings. They need a doctor to be checking on them. Now you don't know how to take care of the ticks and all over. I pity you. Thank God people are seeing this thing. Thank God that people are wise now. Another person say, "Hey Marwa, please go to the pet shop. Please Marwa, go to the pet shop and ask for a medication to put in water." And after baiting the horses, you have dried the horses and then sop them with a mixture of what uh, all over. And the ticks will fall off and die. And you can ask for something to spray the ground where the horses stay. Move them away, spray the ground, and then the ground is penetrated and kinder dry. You put them there until the ticks are all gone. If you don't kill the ticks, they will make the horses sick or worse. <laughs> sadly, somebody says, sadly, he never follows any advice. He's been constantly advised to build stable for the horses and get a veterinary doctor to check on the horses. You cannot buy animals and treat them like... You know, that is the mentality in Africa. I was telling one of my Yankee friends. I told her that hey, all these things you American people are talking... We These guys, they don't know these things. So they just buy those things in the name, we too, we have horses. We too, we have horses. We are rich people. But they don't know that after buying the horses, that is when the job starts. Hey, Marwa... 
You need to call a qualified veterinary professional who knows about horses and livestock just to get those horses uh, checked over. It's very important you do before anything else. One thing can lead to another problems with the horses. Call them as a... <laughs> hey, another person said, please get a vet to come and look at the horses as the ticks in infection is getting from back to worse. You need to get a few cats in the village as well. They will help to keep the rats away, resulting in preserving your eggs. I am so ex expert just my comments my common sense <clears throat> marwa don't want to hear this thing if you see this table that those uh, pigeons or whatsoever they're calling <laughs> you will know that this is where those parasites are coming and killing all these visitors if you see how that place is dirty guys it's not about keeping animals <laughs> it's about maintaining those animals where people keep animals you should know that animals shit especially this bird that are flying all you need to be watching and cleaning that place very very in fact the the place you are supposed to keep them alone supposed to look very very clean but go and see i will put the video of those things after this thing you people will see you think this guy know what they are do he's doing this guy is doing all these things so that people will donate to him let's let's get and see anyway guys i think we have finished with the comments i wanted to read now we can go and watch that video of those animals where these animals are living in marwa's house and where this salvador is saying oh they are giving her money to take trying to somebody from france france hey <laughs> i just laugh france that is close to my house like this somebody from france sent you money how much he sent you from france because all or in fact a lot a lot of uh, Africa people living in France, so how do I say it? I'm not saying that they don't have good job. They have it though. But in this our Europe, everybody struggling for his life. So don't be deceiving people to activate donation. How much they give you? How much can somebody send you from France? In France that they are also struggling for their life. Anyway, it is, it's not my business to talk about that one. It is the lies that I know that they are just to activate it. Let's go and watch that video and we'll come back and call it a day. Let me go to my work, guys. Surprise. Surprise. Hey, you look a rich girl. What's going on? So Gitiriba, through Gitiriba, yes, we yes. receive um, a contribution for our horse project. Oh. Yes. Is it the guy from France? Yes, you support me. What's his name? No, 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 no. It's not okay. <laughs> we cannot say his name. Yeah. His name? You can say yeah. that maybe dad and a mom. Oh, okay. Just like that. Yes. Thank yeah. you so much. Merci beaucoup. Um, <laughs> yes. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes. We are about to... Uh, keep on building things for Actually, the Triba told me also the same same dad has a big surprise for me with 50 bags of cement because we will start building. You see, we are doing that that's construction going on there. Uh, we really appreciate. And we I talked with him one time. Yeah. If tomorrow I get time when I receive this, I'll give him a phone call, one on one. Yes. And I really hope that it comes back to you multiplied yes. a million times. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I want to plant a tree for Mama, a Jamaican grandma. So I want to see. Huh? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Like that? yeah, it grows so quick. There are some here and they are missing. Yeah. Those ones are crying out up there because up there, rats can't reach. You hear? Are you sure? Because rats. Rats walk everywhere. I think they are, they have eaten even small ones here. There's a big problem here. But don't worry. That's it's there. See that's that's a baby. You see there we have small chicks, but here there isn't none because rats come here and eat the eggs like this design. You know? This egg is, there's nothing inside. There's nothing inside. It's there. So we need to clear up this room because it's full, it's a store. And also we need to spray some insecticide. Uh, I will I will fix this room. We have more than two hundred bags. Uh, Guys, do you see how dirty that place that those animals are living? 
Do you see how scatter that place look like? Marwa just carried this mud house that he that was the first thing he did in that his land they gave him. No floor, not in that dirty place like this. He just carried these animals and put them. They want you want they say rats whatsoever. Those in fact and the, the rats and everything they will come and put all those parasites in these eggs and they will carry the eggs and be cooking for visitors. When they cook it for visitors, you go to your home, you don't know what happened to you. I heard, in fact, I wanted to forget. I heard people saying yesterday. I never wanted to talk about it, but I just remember. Yesterday, people were also saying that the woman that came from the UK or blah, blah, staying in Uncle Mo's house, I think, but she was all over Marwa, that she was traveling back to Nairobi to go back, and the car she used, she was traveling, the car got accident. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I told you, go to the swamp at your own risk. That is what me, the Black Beauty TV, I will always say. And that is the video of the day. I appreciate you guys and thank you for always coming to uh, support my channel. Thank you, thank you. And God will surely bless you guys. I love you guys from the depths of my heart. Tomorrow we are going to check on other videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And God bless you guys. It's me, daughter of the soil. Bye-bye. Why you pretend? No, I don't want to be at your party. Seeing you right next to somebody. Why do you keep on trying to? We need all what we shouldn't do. Even though that I want you. Why don't we go figure it? Yeah, 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 yeah.